Alright, hello people. Today I'm going to be teaching a little bit about ugh, techniques to use in Polygon CP, which is a popular mode at my rank anyway. Alright, so Polygon in general is a very nice map to use because it is a medium map. It's a medium map that is not so big that you can't find a gold box or can't maneuver properly in. But it's the perfect size so that it still holds enough people to make it effective. Get out. Effectively high battle funds, as you can see, the battle fund right now is 1,804. So, a couple pointers in here. Heavy holes are extremely effective, as you can see, with these various heavy holes that have showed up around here. Because of the fact that light holes simply don't stay here in the center long enough. They don't have enough health. And it's also very effective for ramming when you use, which can be used to push your way through. And effective against if there's a gold box that you would like to have. So, a couple tips. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. It's not something I'm used to. <coughs> All right. So, well, there goes the battle. I just joined this thing when it was coming to an end. So, as you can see, people got an enormous amount of battle fund. All the spawning points, you've seen quite a few, are in spots that you can directly access the center point to. You can directly access the center, central point so that even in a heavy hole, you don't have to worry about taking a super duper long time. Now, a handy thing you can do is pull back down here, even though you might get the occasional visitor, because of the fact that when here, if someone attacks your point, unless someone's in front of you, you can pull up, snipe them down, and then pull back out in hiding so that you can make a very nice kill-death ratio. As you can see, almost everyone in here is a heavy hole, except for the occasional hornet, annoying hornet, not to mention. Even the Isidas have adapted heavy holes. Also, the, that peak, peekaboo, so to speak, maneuver that I was saying before is also very effective with the Isida for some reason. I don't exactly know why, but it's very effective with Isida and Hammer. Because the Hammer being a short range, high Isida damage. You. The Hammer being a short. Isida. The hammer being a short range, high damage weapon makes it ideal for such situations. As you can see, there are quite a few mammoths and quite a few. Now, weapons that work, oh shoot, well in this situation, oh, I hate when they do that. Still in first place though. Weapons that work well in this situation, as I said, the hammer and the izzet are both very handy. And the ricochet has so much attack power that it makes it... Why is this guy not firing back? <laughs> because of Isida's hot, or ricochet's very high damage per second. And that brings us to the weapon that just destroyed me. Mm -hmm. The Firebird is extremely effective in these situations due to their gargantuan damage that they deal. And... So say it was a firebird sitting here, I can easily flush enemies out of here. 
that enemy twins hitting me. Shoot. Because of their high damage rate, they can easily flush a bunch of enemies out of the central point. And even if they are killed, the burn effect is still effective against the enemies that are in the center. So you're still dealing damage. And I believe the M1, at any rate, has like five seconds of burn on it. And the burn deals quite a bit of damage, not to mention. Paints, Firebird, and Ricochet protection paint seem extremely popular in this, in this place. And like I said, heavy holes are ideal. I'm low on charge. I'm going to back it out. A typical way you can use your heavier hull in these places is that you can back it up. So this works with Shaft, Smoky, Thunder, anything that is a mid-range ricochet too. Just, you can even sit right up here. Be careful, there's a spawn point behind you. However, you can sit here and you have that medium range that allows you just to hit enemies from up here pretty nicely. That brings me to twins, like that lizard paint right down there. Twins is effective in this map as well because of its endless firing. You can just sit right in the um, center there and just blast out like the, um, there's no ending to it. Especially paired with heavy holes, the twins makes a formidable, formidable, ugh, I can't speak today, formidable weapon in the circumstances. Drugging is very popular in Polygon CP because of the fact just throw on the extra damage and the extra um, shielding, blast into your point, you get the point. However, in many people's eyes, drugging is disrespectful to the point of the game. And you might be branded a drugging noob. And you might be told to eat your own cheese by me. For example, 300k gold, that tanker. I'm not sure if he just grabbed those boxes, although the double, to give you an idea, that double damage on the Mammoth M1 makes you an equivalence to the Mammoth M3 because of that double shielding, which some people really like, especially after the game just went on, which of course gave everyone a lot, a lot, a lot of supplies. Oops. So, drugging like that can be very difficult. Yeah, I know, I'm on the losing team. I'm just trying to exhibit to you. But then again, control point can be... Yeah, my brother just pointed out that you can't even see the score. It's 6 to 52, my team's losing. But control points can be a very variable thing. You don't know the outcome until the very end of the match because of the fact during the rework of CP mode, oops, the rework of CP mode, which was done a while ago, they made it so that whenever the enemy team loses control of the point, they lose points while the other team gains it. And the duration of the time that they have on it increases their score while decreasing the enemy's score. In all, it's a very nice map, and the battle funds are raging in here. So, 
I think that's it for today. Polygon CP. Because, actually, several studies were done by the newscasters. Oh, that guy's ricochet paint. That, from the tanky newspaper, that CP battle modes tend to have the highest battle funds. Because whenever you capture the point, you get... Ooh. I'm not to kill myself in the process of getting that guy. So, in all, it's a very excellent battle mode. So this is Kestrel47 signing off.